We often hear the news of huge damage due to a bridge collapsing, or also see a lot of scenes related to it in different movies. But have we ever thought about why it happens? Well, it has numerous reasons. Before that, we will let you know that building bridge is the most expensive and biggest project in engineering history ever. And it is built under some crucial factors like construction materials, weather conditions, surrounding areas geology, and some more. If these factors are miscalculated a little, the result can be worse, which a builder didn't expect. Sometimes we think, why does a small incident make a reason for a bridge to collapse? But we never think there might be a different reason behind it which you aren't considering. To unfold all your curiosity, we are here to let you know the 10 reasons why bridges collapse. What's the reality behind it? Today, we will be discussing 10 reasons why bridges collapse. Whenever an earthquake happened, it became the reason for a huge loss. Whether in the case of buildings, bridges, homes, and human life, it ruins the infrastructure. It shakes the bridge and becomes the cause of its structural damage. Recent damages due to earthquakes make it clear that bridges built in a substandard way and they will never hold the ground motions. Moreover, it has been happening for many years. In 1989, two bridges collapsed because of this. However, bridge collapse is relatively low when the earthquake happens as compared to the losses of buildings. This list could not be completed without mentioning this one reason. We all know that floods can destroy massive structures, and we have seen numerous bridges being destroyed by floods. I would say it is the most common reason. What do you think? Don't forget to share your thoughts with us in the comments section below. Now let me tell you that there are different ways through which floods become the reason for bridges collapse. Whenever it comes, it rises up the level of rivers and lakes that flow near a bridge. Other than that, all the trees, motorcycles, cars, etc. start flowing with them. And when it passes under the bridge, its higher level shakes the bridge completely. If its condition is not well, it will definitely drop down. The same happened in 1889 in Pennsylvania. As per the engineers, it's mostly in the case of those bridges whose foundations are underwater. Sometimes a small defect in a bridge can cause the bridge to collapse. It has usually seen a bridge that looks fine suddenly fall. For some time, the reason behind it became a mystery. But when it gets solved, a little manufacturing defect comes out, which causes all of this. That is how, due to builder's negligence, everyone has to pay off. Just like the collapse of the Silver Bridge happened in 1967 was the case of the manufacturing defect in the steel bars of the bridge. Another bridge in Korea faced the same defect of poor steel quality in 1994 that killed many people there. Manufacturers should clear all these technicalities before building the bridge's structure. There are many collapses of the bridge that happened in very odd circumstances. Like nobody can imagine, these things become the reason for that much destruction. A Lacey v. Murrow bridge in 1990 that crosses Washington Lake was placed on the pontoons. But due to some manufacturing errors, the pontoons filled with water which was used in resurfacing the bridge. After some time, the bridge fully digs into the water. Moreover, a Winkley Bridge in Arkansas was swaying under the load. In 1989, some people passing the bridge swayed it deliberately, and suddenly, the support structures of the bridge failed, and it collapsed. There is not always a mistake of builders when any manufacturing fault occurs in a bridge. Many times, it's due to poor maintenance of the bridge that has to be done after some time. In the mid of 1983, a bridge over the Mianus River was destroyed. And after investigation, 
the reason for corroded steel came out. If it was changed at that right time, it wouldn't have happened. But unfortunately, it happened and became the reason for the unpayable loss. Well, bridge collapse because of fire is not such a common reason, but it happened in the past frequently when bridges used to be made of wood, especially those from which a train has to pass. Because the train wheels and rail tracks are both made up of steel, and when they have rubbed together, a spark of fire comes out. So due to the flow of wind, a wooden bridge catches the spark and becomes the reason for fire all over. However, it still happens. Some time ago, some bridges collapsed due to fire when a heavy truck of gasoline crashed with it. A bridge on different water bodies looks tremendous, and it enhances the beauty of the scene when a boat is passing from beneath. But sometimes, the same boat becomes the reason for a bridge's destruction. If the bridge is not so in very good condition, a little push of the boat will shake the bridge entirely. Or sometimes the bridge can also collapse due to the heavy mass of the boat. In 1993, the same collapse happened on the Judge William Bridge when a heavy barge struck its pier. A big reason out there behind a bridge collapse starts to occur from the time when it is on the blueprint. Yes, I am talking about the design of a bridge. Sometimes the base of a project becomes the reason. When the design is not suitable, how can you expect it's a durable one? In 2007, a big tragedy happened just because of this design negligence. Steel gusset plates, which are also used in binding the structure of a bridge, weren't large enough. It's the incident on the bridge of the Mississippi River. Many collapses are due to infrastructure deficiencies. According to a report in the US, every one bridge out of nine hasn't a good structure. There are some loopholes in them, like the Skagit River collapse of 2013 is due to the infrastructure deficiency. Moreover, too much load on the river also becomes the reason for its fall. Authorities should consider some restrictions on it or build some guidelines for it. Sometimes there is not only a single reason behind the collapse. When the number of factors come together, it creates the worst situations. For example, when a heavy wind is flowing, it will never impact the collapse. But if the bridge has weak holding steel plates or is structurally weak, then devastating results will come out. 15 years ago, I-35 West Mississippi Bridge faced the same situation where its gusset plates broke down because they were very thin. So these were the most popular reasons behind the bridge collapse. Engineers, along with their entire teams, should consider the points behind all the failures to avoid future damage. Also, tell us in the comments section which reason you think is more common among them. That's all for today's video, and thanks for watching it. If you liked it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And before you leave, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so and turn on notifications to never miss any updates. I will see you in the next video. Take care and stay tuned.